Hi folks, Matt Edwards here with Vought RV, and today I have the privilege of showing you the 2021 Eagle 347 BHOK, which stands for Bunkhouse Outside Kitchen. Okay, so come along here. It's a full fiberglass body. And you have got lots of storage in this unit. This is a motion sensor light that will come on when it gets dark. You'll notice underneath here too, JCOS has the aluminum framing and well as well as the insulation up here. But quite a bit of room in there. You also have the option of putting your TV set out here if you want to also with the hookups and power. Now, one thing that Jayco does really well now is they're starting to give you the access panels to the major components, so that way it's easier for you to get to, of course. Okay? We've got outside speakers. And we've got the big propane bottles, one on each side. All of the Jayco's are key to light, so you don't have a whole bunch of keys to worry about. You've got one key that pretty much fits everything. Another real cool feature on this is they put your light plug down here, okay? That way, if you want to put your awning out and you want to run lights on the end of them like a lot of parts do, you're able to. Now, one of the coolest features about this is the new side cameras, okay? You've heard of backup cameras, but we got side cameras now. That's all Bluetooth to a small screen that'll fit on the dash of your truck. Super safety, okay? We'll go up here to the front storage. You've got room to carry chairs, outside grills, uh, toys, stuff like that. And you've also got your batteries right over here that you can put in. Now this unit is prepped for a generator if you so decide you want a generator in it, okay? All righty, along this side over here, You've got your other propane bottle. Okay, on the storage over here, you've got the motion light, you've got some power over here. Your inverter's right up there, easy to get to. And you've got a kill switch right over here that'll kill the power on the inside. So what you wanna do is, if you're gonna leave the trailer for a week or two, you wanna come over here and disconnect that. That way you're not draining your batteries down and um, you make sure all the lights and everything's turned off. Also, you've got your auto leveling system here, all push button, very easy and simple to use. And again, Jayco makes the access panels easy for any type of service work if they're needed. Back of your hot water heater and you are a 50 amp service, okay? That way you can run both ACs. Okay, because in Texas it gets hot, so you want two ACs. Now, the landing gears down here are controlled up there at that switch over there. And what these will do is automatically land down, lay down, and level your trailer for you with one button. Real simple and easy to use. Alrighty. Now, Jayco also makes it easy to get to the full-size residential refrigerator inside your coach. This is one of the largest access panels that allows the, to them to get to the back of the refrigerator if there, is a, if there is something that's wrong with it, okay? So that way you're not having to take the refrigerator out of your kitchen, okay? And you'll see the water right here, and I'll show you something about that when we go inside. It's pretty cool. There's your Santa Flush. And what Santa Flush does is those are sprays vented sprays inside the gray tank, inside the black tank, excuse me. That way it cleans out your, your black tank in case you get like toilet paper that clings onto the side of them and it gives you a false reading in there. Kind of drives me nuts when that happens, but this helps take care of that. Okay, we are a triple slide on this side. Here's one of your drains right here and you've got a second drain, okay? I, this is wired and prepped for washer and dryer. Okay, you've got the fiberglass back. There's your backup camera with the antenna that Bluetooths to your truck, okay? They also put a receiver hitch back here with a plug 
that's mounted to the frame. So that way, if you want to put a rack back here, you want to pull a small dinghy, small boat, you can actually do that. You've got your rear ladder. And the cool thing about a Jayco is 30% of their inventory goes up to Canada and up east where it snows a lot. Those roofs up there are built with a magnum truss system with a peak, similar to what our houses are. Okay, those roofs can hold 4,500 pounds. Okay, they're like, whoa, what am I gonna do? Have a party up there? No, but when they go up east, there's a lot of snowfall up there, so they have to be able to support the weight. Okay, the one thing about that with us is if you're at a campground and a tree falls on you, you've got a lot more protection. Okay, now the OK in the name means outside kitchen. So, This one has a really cool outside kitchen. You've got your apartment size or college room size refrigerator on there. These are great to keep the drinks in that keeps the kids from running inside out of the house a lot, okay? You can mount a TV over here. Jake will tell you right there where to put it. You've got a sink, you've got lights, you've even got some cool lights along the top like the awnings. And you've got storage up here on top, okay? Now, all Jayco's are screwed in. There is no staples in any of our cabinetry work. You've got a drawer here to keep your camping supplies and cooking supplies. A little area that you can use. Bottle opener. And you've got a really cool little grill that comes out right here. Plus, this is kind of covered over here, too. So if it is raining, you're still able to get in here and do something. Okay? Now. This particular model has two awnings. You've got the side awning here that is mounted on your slide, frameless windows, Jayco offers you a two-year warranty on the trailer, okay? Three-year structural. And we'll go through that here in just a minute. This does have the climate shield on it, which is the ultimate weather protection. You've got your other awning right up here. And we'll open those up for you a little bit when we get through. You've also got the Moride step system in here, which is the coolest thing, I think, because you don't have the knuckle busters that you know you have to pull out all the time. And I'm gonna show you real quick how easy it is to put those in and out. Boom, they're up. The legs up here are adjustable, depending on the terrain and the park that you're at. But that's just how easy it is to get out. Okay, let's go inside. Okay, now the fun part, we're on the inside. Just give you a quick run through. When you walk into the door right here, you've got your ceiling fan switch right here that you can turn on or off, okay? And you can do directional on that. I think ceiling fans in the trailers are the best thing because it keeps the air circulating, okay? Now, all your controls now, or on an iPad, similar to an iPad, okay? The touch screen, okay? You got your home, you got climate control for both ACs. Let's see, your leveling system you can operate from here. There's our climate for our main and second ACs. Lights, you can dim, you can put them all on, you can bring them down, you can do lots of stuff with that. And you've got your awning lights out here, which we turned on and we'll show you those when we get through, okay? Now, one of the other cool things is you've got your tire pressuring monitor and your refrigerator monitors for temperature, okay? This can all be controlled now from your back pocket on your phone with J Command app, okay? All right, now to walk in quickly, there's, they make some quick switches right here. That way we can turn on off the lights, we can do the slides, we can do the awnings. Uh, see, there's awnings, awning two, slide one, two, three, and you just use these two buttons right here. Those are for the quick setups, okay? Okay, as you walk in now, you've got this beautiful gallery, okay? Now, Jayco does not skimp on cabinets, folks. That's pretty deep there. This you can use for a uh, coat rack or you can lift this up 
to uh, put coats in there or you can put the shelves in there, however you'd like to do that. Okay, I got a special place for this and I'll show you. And as my wife calls it, this is the coffee bar over here. Okay, great place to put your coffee at, coffee machine, your Instant Pot. Uh, oh, that's also big enough in there to store all those, okay? Jayco's are real drawers, okay? They do have the soft clothes, okay? And you've got some cabinets right over here, too. Right below here, of course, is your, uh, your uh, breaker box, okay? Easy to get to. Oh, and Jayco is really cool. They give you a clock, uh, and it has Middlebury, Indiana on it, which is where they're built at. Uh, up in Elkhart, Can up in Elkhart, Indiana, 80% of all the travel trailers and motorhomes come out of that county. That's a pretty amazing fact I didn't know about. Okay, over here, you've got a la you've got a uh, another cabinet with adjustable shelves, and you can adjust that shelf and put your trash can in there. Okay, which is really cool, I think. You know, because you always got to figure out where do you put the trash can at, where do you put it at. Okay, and plus that lights up. And the light goes out when the door is closed. Okay. Here's your oven area. You've got a nice big microwave rack right here. You've got a great cabinet up here for uh, all your spices. Uh, you can get those little lazy Susans that go in there. So that way they can spin. Okay. You've got nice backing over here. And you've got some great drawers through here. Oh, by the way, there's all the keys for your Jayco. Right there. One for her, one for you. But you got great drawers through here. Plus, on the bottom down here, you've got a pots and pans, which is finally big enough to do something with, okay? All right, oven is a little bit bigger than the standard ones I used to make, okay? They do light, and this will self-light now. You don't have to do the lighter on them anymore, okay? These uh, are Furion, and you know, these are specifically made for travel trailers because when you're going down the road, you've got a tornado going in here. Everything's shaking and rattling. You can flip this up, and you've got your high output burners over here, okay? And then you can close it up, you know, if you need some extra room on something to do something with, okay? The sink, I think they did a really good job on the sink. You've got the farm style two, two, two uh, tub sink, and you've got a little bit more room over here. They used to put them all up here in the middle, which I like it better when they do on the side because it gives you more room. Real metal. And this right here, okay? I'm gonna let Brian get in here and show you that. You can get a water bottle at the grocery store of the water you like, and you can have it dispensed right out there. This will also go to your refrigerator for your ice maker and your water over here. Uh, my wife and I, we always drink bottled water. We don't drink out of the faucets. And so we're having to lug in three or four cases of water, of course, when we go camping. But now I can go by and pick up a five gallon jug down at the store for a few bucks and put it in there and it's good, okay? I think that's just really cool. Alrighty, little notepad, place you can put pictures at. You know, they make it to where you can take this off, you can put a collage in there, whatever you want to do, okay? You've got real wood all the way around. And I like the way the colors are because this is called Modern Farmhouse, which gives it a kind of rustic look. And then they really blend well with the dark wood, I think. Okay, we've got our dinette over here. And of course, the dinette will lay down to the bed just like they always do, okay? You've got your light switches right over here to turn on and off, okay? You've got your blinds that pull down. Both of these windows over here will open up for a breeze. And then you've got the American Eagle picture over here. And again, if you, don't, if you want to take that picture out and put a picture of you and your hubby in there, you can actually take that out and swap out the pictures, okay? We've got the uh, Stacy Stewart uh, reclining seats over here. You've got storage in here for the remote, the 45, wherever else you want to put in there. Then you've got cup holders here, this reclines, and you're right in front of a big old 40 inch TV, okay? JBL now is the one doing the uh, speaker systems out here. 
and you can do the speakers from inside or outside. Plus, you can tie your phone, you can, you can Bluetooth your phone in there if you would prefer music instead, okay? All right, now the fireplace down here is pretty nifty. You've got the ambience of the colors, whichever one you want, but it also has a timer on there and it puts out heat, okay? So if you're in those cold winter nights, uh, a little bit chilly in the morning, you can turn this on and this will pretty much take care of all your, it'll take the chill out of the room basically, okay? You can put a timer on it so that way it goes off at a certain time and so forth. We've got more cabinets up here for storage. Lots of room. Okay. And we've got a corner cabinet over here. Coat rack, you've got a plug in there if you need it, and you've got some storage up here too. Now one thing I want to point out right quick, Jayco does not use staples in any of their cabinetry work. Everything you see is all screwed. This is just like the cabinets in your house. I can hang on here, okay? Again, since they're going down the road, bouncing up and down, you want, some, you want some stability in those, okay? All right, now here's what makes this trailer kind of special, okay? You got a back room back here. I'm gonna let Brian go in and kind of pan around. It looks like somebody's already put the bed down at one time, but you've got a bunk up here. Now, the other day, let me pull this down and I'll show you. There's actually a pretty decent room up there. And these bunks will, will hold 300 pounds. So, thank goodness I'm not there. But I'm 5'9". And I can lay up here. You know? Put my pillow up here. I think I'd be fine. It's kind of narrow. But it's not bad. And Jayco does give you the thicker mattress pads too with these up here okay so you could put a uh, mattress pad on here another one and sheets on here and make it really comfy a little place to put your coffee or your your drink at night okay and then you got the steps to come down those little blue lights are all around the trailer those are your night lights now Jayco again has taken up any extra room they can find they're making it useful. So you've got three big old drawers right there to put stuff in, okay? As well as this one, okay? Little cubby hole there. You can mount a small TV right here if you want to. There's power and the cable plugs over there. Person up here has a window that has an awning style window that opens up for a breeze. And you've got the emergency exit back here. Uh, this is a fold-out bed in here. The bed does fold out and it comes up to right here. You've got room to actually squeeze around it if you need to. Okay? Now here's the big thing. Take a look at that room. Half bathroom back here. Hot water, cold water. You've got a medicine cabinet. You've got a storage underneath and you've got a toilet. Okay, this room is really a good size. I mean, two people could come back here. You could put a couple back here that have their own restroom, their own privacy back here. They can crank the windows open. They've got air vents back here for your ACs because you have two ACs, so you're gonna get plenty of air back here. And then if you do have a third person, this will pop down. Now this is a little bit shorter over here, so it'd be great for a child or something but they do have their own window, curtain, and the awning style window again. So that way you can create breeze and air through here. And if you're at a really pretty park, you know, it's really awesome to back up to it, you know, especially if it's a lake or the beach, okay? These doors lock down up here for travel, of course. Pretty cool. Okay, so we've seen the back half of the trailer. All your lights are all LED. This is padded for the tall guys, so that way you don't bunk your head, okay? You've got a handrail right here to go up the steps, okay? And then you've got what I call the master bath, okay? Which is a nice uh, shower door that closes, keeps all the water in there. You don't have to worry about splashing the water around. Plus it has a seat in there, 
which my wife likes, you know, because you can shave your legs in there, she says. Look at the size of the, uh, the vanity over here. It's got a good size, opens up to the cabinets, of course. You've got your lights, your GFI, your plugs right over here. And Jayco puts in porcelain commodes, okay? Toilet paper dispensers in a decent place. You've got places you can put your towels at. And then you've got some deep, deep storage, of course, inside of those. Towels, toiletries, etc. Okay? And of course, you've got the fan for taco night. Okay? That opens up. You can, you can uh, pull the odors out of there or the steam from the shower. Okay? Now, to the master suite. There is your power system right here tells you where everything's going. You've got USB port plugs pretty much all around the trailer, okay? Because of the new cell phones, you know, charging and all the, the fun stuff. You've got the Insigna TV with the power booster and plug in your cable entry. And you'll notice that you don't see the big AC back in here. This is the new Whisper Quiet system that's all totally ducked, okay? So when you run this, you know, used to, you'd have that hum in your head at night. It was so loud, so noisy. A lot of times you couldn't sleep. Or if you go to a, a, back to the house, you know, it's kind of hard to sleep because you don't have the noise, you know. Uh, but these are all super quiet now, much more enjoyable. You've got a king bed in here. And uh, it's a good quality mattress, brand new, sealed. You've got your lights above there and your light controls, of course. There's power on both sides, so that way if you have a CPAP machine, you can set it in, okay? Closets. Here's a box for your big TV, which they always make sure to send us. But you've got a pretty decent sized closet along with, I think that's a motion sensor, along with a place to put your shoes at, which is pretty cool, okay? And they reinforce these, you know, when they ran the bar across there, a lot of times these would sag, but they put a metal and they've got a brace right there, okay? On this side, you've got extra shelving too. Stack sweaters, shoes, whatever you need to put in there, you can now, okay? So I'm gonna put this back in here. In here, you are, you are prepped for washer and dryer. You can put a combo unit in there. The combo units are pretty cool, uh, especially because you can wash your jeans, socks, towels. You can throw you know, pretty much three sets of clothes in there and have them all done. And then you've got storage up here too. Big storage. Jayco is one of the only manufacturers that will actually warrant full-time living in their units. Okay? It does not void your warranty if you live in this full time. Okay? In Jayco, if you're a dealer with Jayco, you have to sign an agreement that says that you will work on any Jayco wherever it's bought from. Okay? So if you bought a, if, for example, if a folks bought their uh, Jayco up in Michigan and have warranty issues, we have a national service center here at Vought for Jayco and we take care of all the warranty issues. So again, if you're outside the state of Texas, you got a problem, you can go to any Jayco and they're not going to turn you away. A lot of manufacturers, a lot of companies say, oh, you got to take it back to where you bought it from because that's how they get paid their warranty, okay? Jayco, that's not that way, okay? Now, if you look behind Brian right there, there is your, your dresser for the room, okay? Again, you've got real wood, real runners, and deep. Okay? All righty, now... Here is underneath the bed storage, okay? Now this is nice because this is all enclosed in, okay? Which helps keep uh, keeps bugs and stuff out. But there's your monitor for the front and this will operate your back camera as well as your side cameras, okay? This is your emergency crank if you have to crank your slides in for some reason. The slides have got maybe a three in 5,000 kill rate. I mean, they're, they're really well designed. Technology has moved up a lot. This is your spray hose that you can take outside. And you know, if you've got sand on your shoes or you need to rinse something off, real easy to do, okay? And then you, they also supply you with a quick connect. 
Now the quick connect gas propane will operate the grill that's on the outside. Plus, if you want to bring your own grill like a lot of guys do, you can still do that, okay? And you'll notice everything's plywood. Jayco does not put pressed wood in their trailers because if the pressed wood gets wet, then you got problems, okay? So that pushes down. Lock your windows and your doors in place. Uh, you have an emergency edgy back here, exit, excuse me, back here again, so you got safety involved. And your two side windows over here do open up, so that way you can get that nice breeze through there. And it still has the, uh, the day shades, the night shades that pull down over there. Okay, I can't think of anything else. If you guys have any questions, my name is Matt Edwards. Uh, Brian's going to put my uh, email contact up there for you. And we thank you guys for taking the time to look at this. And uh, y'all be safe out there and happy Thanksgiving. And of course, a Merry Christmas. Thanks for watching our video. If you have any questions, be sure to drop a comment below. Or if you have any suggestions on content you'd like to see, we'd love to hear about that. Go ahead and give us a like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks again from Vod RV.